What you can see in this footage is the lab of the genus Micromus, a brown lacewing, most likely the species Micromus tasmania, which has been mass bred in Australia as a biological pest control agent. Lacewings belong to an ancient order of insects called the Neuroptera. Members of this order are very diverse both in behavior and appearance. Neuropterans are soft-bodied insects with relatively few specialized features. They have large lateral compound eyes and may or may not also have simple, generally much smaller eyes called the ocelli. Here you can see an example of that with a clearly visible ocellus right in the center of a translucent cicada's head. Their mouthparts have strong mandibles suitable for chewing. They have four wings, usually similar in size and shape, which feature a dense pattern of veins. Some neuropterans have specialized sense organs in their wings or have bristles or other structures to link their wings together during flight. Lacewings are also known as stink flies. Adult green lacewings emit a strong chemical stench from glands situated in their thorax. One component of the compound is scatol, well known as one of the smelly substances in mammal feces. Its function is to deter potential predators. The larvae of lacewings are specialized predators with elongated mandibles adapted for piercing and sucking. The larval body form varies between different families depending on the nature of their prey. In general, however, they have three pairs of thoracic legs, each ending in two claws. The abdomen often has adhesive discs on the last two segments. Their flattened, disc-shaped bodies are also fringed with long, hair-like projections. Those impressive, protruding, tube-shaped mouthparts suck up the body fluids of their prey, such as this much smaller oleander aphid, and most have large, grasping jaws, which help hold their prey while essentially eating them alive. Adult green lacewings can eat up to 60 aphids per hour, for example, but their diet also includes moth eggs, two spotted mites, mealybugs, and other species that can be considered agricultural pests. Only a few known species feed on plant material and nectar. Lacewings are found in most habitats throughout Australia, and both adults and larvae are pretty common in urban areas as well. The majority of lacewings, such as the green lacewing, deposit eggs on the tip of hair-like stalks, possibly to keep them safe from predators. Some species, such as the brown lacewing, lay their eggs directly into sand or on vegetation. Eggs are usually laid near infestations of prey. A long, mottled brown larva hatches from each egg. There are three larva stages called instars, and they molt multiple times. When the last larva instar is fully grown, it finds a shelter in the litter and spins a loose cocoon. The larva in the cocoon molds into a pupa, legs and wings can be seen within the pupa and they twitch if disturbed. Adults hatch from pupae and then mate. The courtship in some species involves the use of sex pheromones and also sound. The length of time of each life stage depends on temperature, being shorter at higher temperatures. An interesting fact that I found is that green lacewing larvae use the remains of their prey as camouflage so their prey don't see them coming. Here you can see a couple of examples of their exceptional disguise. I found these images in my archive. Now sit back and enjoy watching this captivating instar finishing its dinner and right after I'll be showing you a selection of my better macro shots of the feeding action. Here are a few more shots I captured of a predatory brown lacewing lava. All of these images were taken with my Laova 25mm ultra macro lens at 2.5x magnification using an aperture of f11, an ISO range between 200 and 500 and a shutter speed of 180th of a second.
Anyway, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about lace wings. If you'd like to read more about them, then have a look at the links provided in the description that I used as resources. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also check out this video and playlist, which is full of educational nature videos. Thanks for watching and see you all very soon in the next one.